Hi, I'm Kerry. And I'm Rachel. And this week is Real Bread Week. So Rachel and myself have been busy baking and we've made some lovely breads for you here. Here we've got focaccia bread, we've got a tear and share, we've got a plaited bread, and we've got some multi-grain seedy bread. So do stay with us and watch our videos. You can get the recipes on the website. Enjoy. Enjoy. Let's get baking and make a focaccia bread. So in a bowl, you're going to add your flour and then on one side of the flour you're going to add your yeast. On the opposite side of the bowl you're going to add your salt. Then you're going to mix together. Then make a well in the middle of your flour and add your olive oil and your water and start combining them together slowly. This is quite a wet bread mix so don't be alarmed if it feels too wet. We're going to keep working through and working through going around the edges of the bowl to make sure that all the flour is combined. So I'm using a bread scraper for this. When you're working your bread mix in the bowl, try not to use your hands. If you don't have a bread scraper, then use a spoon. Once working it through after a few minutes, we're gonna lightly oil our table and drop out our bread mix onto the table. And then we're gonna start pulling the bread back and forth, back and forth back and forth with our hands. It is a very wet mix, so just keep working the mix until it starts to dry out, which it will do after a while. Right, once you've worked your bread to the dough mix is a lot drier, we're gonna oil the bottom of a bowl and pop your dough into the bowl, cover with cling film and leave in a warm place for about half an hour to double in size. So after about half an hour, line a baking tray with parchment paper and leave to one side. On your work surface, scatter with a little bit of flour. Take your bread from the bowl and what we're going to do now is we're going to knead it with our hand. So we're going to put the fist of our hand forward and pull back. So we're going to knead the bread for about four minutes or so and then once we've done that we're going to place it into our lined tin and push the bread out to the ends of the tin. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use our fingers and just put them into the bread, pulling the bread slightly apart. So what we're doing here is we're dimpling the bread. So this releases air into the bread when it's cooking. I'm also going to add some leftover peppers that I had. And what I'm going to do there is I'm just going to go along the bread horizontally and just place some different colour peppers, pushing them into the bread. Now that we've done that, we're going to leave the bread to rise for about 45 minutes to an hour in a warm place. After 45 minutes to an hour proofing, your bread should have doubled in size and should be nice and springy to the touch. You can reinstate some of the dimples in the bread if they've popped up a little bit. We're going to pop it into the oven at 220 Celsius, gas mark 7, for about 20 minutes. So when your bread comes out of the oven, brush with some olive oil, leave to cool, and enjoy! Alternatively, you can use a bread mix. Just enter the contents into a bowl, add the water with the required amount on the packet, and bring the ingredients together to make a dough. Once together, bring it together and knock it out in the kneading action, bring it forward and push it back. Bring it forward and push it back. Knead it for about a good five, six minutes. Put it back in the bowl, cover, and leave to prove, because it needs to rise and double in size, for about 20 minutes. Take it out, back on the surface, and we're going to make a tear and share. Pull out small bowls, fold them, just keep pushing them into the center, right back at the beginning, turn it upside down, and there you've got your ball. And place it on a greased lined tray. Place the balls a few centimetres apart because they need to rise and spread. Place into a preheated oven, 220 Celsius, gas mark 7, for around 20 minutes. With the rest of the bread you can make some little platin twists or even some breadsticks. Once they come out of the oven, here I've brushed them with garlic and olive oil and you can even top with cheese and put them back into the oven for a nice little glaze. Enjoy!